Alrighty guys, today I'm going to be doing a little cleanup work on the bike. As you can see, this is my brake lever right here. You can see all the rust and nasty shit on the chrome. And then down here on the foot peg, you can see you got all the rust and bullshit. If you look at the chrome on the exhaust pipe, you can see it's got some uh, little bit of pitting, little bit of bullshit you can see the chrome spot right there or not the spot but you can see the rust spot right there there's more i mean uh but the ends of the foot pegs down in here and the the, the old uh, brake lever it's got a pretty good bit of rust on it not a whole lot but still uh you can see my uh the old down tube. My mind's gone blank. You can see the rust on this part here. Right here on the old triple trees. There's some on the down tube. And down here on the triple trees. But uh, I'm going to show you guys a little before and after when I do my cleanup on it. But uh, what I'm going to use is these uh, little SOS pads. If you get steel wool, you want to get the ones that are that are 4 o rated that's o o o o or quad o or whatever you want to call them because they're real fine um if you get the regular sos cleaning pad you want to one get the one that has the chrome bumper and shit like that specifically mentioned get you a good set of gloves because you don't want hands to get all nasty and then you want to get you some of this this right here is apple cider vinegar, not white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, specifically. If you take a rusty piece of metal and just chuck it in here and just leave it and then come back, it'll take all the rust off of it. This works way better than the uh, white vinegar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the SOS pad dipped in this, do a little scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, nice and light, and it'll take all that rust off and... Uh, I'll come back in a few minutes and uh, show you guys the result. Alrighty. I'll do a little video in real time here so you can see what it looks like right there. And then we'll do a little scrub, scrub, scrub. So you guys actually can see how good it did just in that little bit of scrubbing I just did. I mean, you can see. Still got some rust up and around there, a little bit down in here. But you can see just that couple seconds of scrubbing, it's got it pretty clean. So, work continues. Um, if you do a cleanup like this, what you want to do when you're done is go back with some kind of a metal polish to protect it. Because what happens is, the reason you get these little spots like this, or like back here on the chrome, you can see there's a little spot. Let me get closer. That little reason it comes out as a little spot like that is because that's a hole in the chrome. You know, maybe a stone or something comes up and it puts a little ding and it creates a little hole in your chrome. And then the rust comes from that metal underneath and it comes out through the chrome and it makes these nasty little spots. That's why it's all spotted up like that instead of just rusting in one long sheet. So, what you do after you scrub the rust off is you get you some kind of a metal polish to come back. And uh, actually seal those holes shut with the, the polish. That'll keep the rust from coming back, um, at least temporarily anyway. It's my little how-to, little tip of the day type thing. Um, stay tuned and I'll show you a follow-up when I get done cleaning it up. Guys, as you can see, the old chrome is uh, polished up there pretty good. I've got a few little spots here and there that i got to uh, address, but... Uh, all in all, it's not too bad. There we go. Finally get the camera to focus. You guys can see. <clears throat> I mean, you can see how clean it is now. There's a spot right about there. A little pin spot. Those are the kind of spots I was talking about. Anytime when you do the, the cleanup on your chrome, you'll end up with those little spots. But you'll get little spots like this, little pin spots. Those are the ones that I was talking about. Once you polish it out, you'll end up with these little spots. That's where you're, uh, or not polish it. Once you scrub it with the uh, 
the steel wool, that's these spots I was talking about that end up coming back as rust later. I can't get no closer than that, but these little spots right here, <clears throat> those are those little dings that ends up turning into rust spots. Once you scrub it with the steel wool, you uh, have these little imperfections. You come back and you uh, scrub it with uh, some polish and it'll pretty much get rid of that. Um, some people say you can scrub it with tin foil. What that tin foil does is it scrubs off into the hole and you end up polishing the tin foil and it basically goes away and you don't see it at all. But essentially all you're doing is filling those pits with tin foil. In theory, anyway, I don't know the exact science behind it, but I've seen people scrub them with tin foil and they actually get rid of all these little specks. But uh, I think what they're doing is they're just filling in the holes, these little pinholes you see. But this is a drastic difference from how it was earlier. I mean, you can see how shiny it is. I mean, but uh, that's it, man. I still got some work to do. I'm going to finish scrubbing and uh, do some polishing. And uh, this gives you an idea of what it looks like for now. And uh, that's what the final result will look like. It'll just be shiny and it won't have all these little pits. <laughs> I may or may not show you a, uh, an after, but this is essentially what the after would look like. It's nice and shiny. I mean, you can see down here how shiny it is compared to my phone. So you guys take it easy and I'll catch you on the next one.